Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgos. We're going to do Virgos dating Pisces. This is going to be for Virgos dating Pisces. All right, I do hope you all are doing wonderful. I would like to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so, so greatly appreciated, okay? All right, we're going to get right into this. This is going to be for Virgos that are dating Pisces. Let's see what's going on here, guys. Only take what resonates, guys. Um, I pick up on energy. It's not going to always relate to you, okay? I don't want you to think that, oh, well, this is not what's going on in my life. Then that this is not your story. It's meant for someone, not everyone, okay? I don't want you to try and make this fit into your life. You will know. You will know. Or later on down the road, you may come back and be like, I didn't know, but now I know. You know, that happens too. All right. This is for Virgos dating Pisces. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgos dating Pisces. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody's getting out of their head. They're getting stuck out of some type of mental prison. Hmm, some type of lack of, lack of clarity, lack of listening to your intuitions. Something is over. A cycle has closed. Somebody's moving on to calmer waters. Hmm, somebody's struggling here. Somebody's struggling with a career, a path. We have the Nine of Swords. All right, somebody's definitely, and we have the Nine of Wands. So there is someone coming your way. So we have Virgo dating Pisces. All right, so someone in this relationship, we have the Three of Pentacles working together. Okay, so we definitely have someone in this relationship. This is Virgo dating Pisces. Someone in this relationship at some point in time, they were all up in their head about this connection. They may have thought that this was going to, they've been kind of analyzing or trying to decide whether there is going to be a commitment and whether they belonged in this connection. A part of their life, they closed a chapter. Somebody just closed a chapter. Hmm. It's almost like this connection has just completed a phase. For some of you guys, you could be in separation. This relationship Virgo and Pisces, you could have ended. Somebody could have left and moved on to calmer waters. Somebody wanted to focus on their pentacles. They've been stressing, stressing. Somebody's working really hard to move forward, to heal. Somebody wants to heal, whether it's to heal the relationship so they think they can come back together with you and work with you. This is Virgo and Pisces. I'm definitely feeling like there's an ending here. A cycle has completed. Hmm. I'm getting a feeling of defenseless. Somebody definitely walked away from someone and the other party had no say so in this. This person just made a decision on their own. There's a lot of stress and anxiety in this connection. One person was one per I get the energy that one person was working harder than the other to try and keep this connection together and one person is exhausted, tired. Yeah. They're exhausted and they're tired of this relationship. But we have the three of pentacles, we have the ten of swords, and we have the emperor in the reverse with the empress and the lovers and the three of wands, I can keep this going. So we have the three of pentacles, that's somebody that wants to work together. But we have the 10 of swords, somebody feels like they've been stabbed in the back. Hmm. Somebody definitely feels like, you know, there's, there's a burden here. 
I feel like somebody may have walked away from someone without that person knowing. Mm, somebody was very controlling. Their ego got the best of them. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody's seeking a new beginning here. We have the lovers. And the three of wands. So one of you guys are waiting for the other person to return. Mm-hmm. You guys are definitely in separation. This message is meant for someone, not everyone. But somebody is waiting for this person to return. This is, this person could be your soulmate. There's a lot of love and attraction between the two of you guys. But I feel like there was a lot of stress and anxiety ar around finances. I'm definitely getting that here. One person was willing, one person was putting in more work than the other. There's definitely could be a pregnancy here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Show me, Holy Spirit. This is for Virgos dating Pisces. This is for Virgos that are in a connection with a Pisces. All right. This is for Virgos in a connection with Pisces. So we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. With the Page of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody left somebody out in the cold and they're broke. Somebody could definitely be involved in another relationship with someone else here. Because we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. So this, this is not a celebration with the Queen of Pentacles. That's someone that is a gold digger. You know what I just got, Virgo? This Pisces could have left you out in the cold. Because, and they could have left you broke. They could have taken all the money that you could possibly have had and moved on. Yeah. This Pisces could have definitely been juggling you. You're going to get some type of news that this person is not coming back to you. This person is moving on. Definitely getting this in the energy. Guys, this message is meant for someone, not everyone. But this is Virgos that are in a connection with Pisces. If this message resonates with you, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. Until next time, guys. Bye.